a short journey, we come within view of Amber Palace, built about 400 years ago and abandoned in 1728, when the whole court of the Maharaja moved to Jaipur. There are several of these deserted palaces throughout India, which were built at enormous cost and then suddenly abandoned by the whim of an extravagant ruler who apparently enjoyed the thrill of building new palaces and new cities. The silence and repose of Amber is now emphasized by the wild peacocks, which are prone to inhabit the abandoned habitats of men. The grounds of the palace also provide a haunt for wild monkeys. It seems strange that with his uncanny resemblance to man, the monkey should have found almost no use in connection with human life, save to satisfy curiosity and to provide certain bits of information in man's search for the so-called missing link. Look closely and you will see an occasional baby monkey clinging to its mother. It is said that the attachment of the mother monkey to her young has no parallel in the whole animal kingdom, for only the death of the mother can possibly separate her from her baby. She brings into existence only one baby at a time, and like human babies, it is in a condition of utter helplessness for almost a year. Less fortunate than the wild monkeys of India are the ones that are caught by fakirs and trained with infinite patience for the amusement of the people. The Indian fakir, with his little animal circus, provides entertainment for the native Indian, even as the motion picture theaters provide entertainment for the masses in other countries. The camel card of His Highness, the Maharaja of Jaipur. Whoa! Of all the strange accidents, imagine a couple of camels dropping in on you during your Sunday drive. Fortunately, no one was seriously injured. After a moment of adjustment, the automobile and the camel cart go their respective ways. Little the worse for their experience. Nevertheless, this strange accident illustrates with a moral the fact that automobiles are out of place in Jaipur. Somehow it seems a pity that one little remote corner of the earth, where man and bird and beast live in perfect harmony with each other, could not be spared the encroachments of the machine age. And it is with this thought that we say farewell to colorful Jaipur. <laughs>